been kidnapped, has been found murdered. And strong winds merge two forest fires into a rapidly growing monster. It is a smoke-spewing giant that for now is impossible to fight. The Whitewater and Baldy fires became one a few hours ago, and now it is threatening more than 50 homes. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is near where the wildfire in the Gila wilderness is all going on, and he has the very latest. Alex? That's right, Dick and Diane. I'm here at the airstrip outside of Incident Base Camp, and as you can see behind me, there's one big factor that's making this fire impossible for fire crews to fight and actively contain. It's these tremendous gusts of winds that we've had in this area for the last two days. As you can see, the conditions are making it tough on aircraft, and there's been no support from the air to help control the blaze. That's bad news for the community of Willow Creek. There are 53 homes there that are being threatened by the fire, and it's, it's, we're told it's very, very close to those structures. We're not sure if it's touched any of them yet. Fire crews earlier today were setting out sprinklers, water pumps, and doing whatever they could to help protect those homes. Seven people were evacuated from that area. This afternoon, two fires, uh, those two fires, they were two separate fires. They combined to reach 21,000 acres at last check. That doesn't include the growth that could have come from today's strong winds, where the fire has likely spread even larger. It was 995 acres. Um, the day before, um, this morning it was at 10,000. So in, in about 24 hours, it grew 10, 000, almost 10,000 acres. Now the top priority right now for fire crews is protecting those 53 homes we were telling you about earlier. But there are other things that fire crews have in mind. They're also trying to stop the blaze from, uh, from damaging several archaeological sites and from threatening some endangered animals out here in the Gila wilderness. Back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. The fire crews are expected to get an update on how much those combined fires have grown in just a little bit later tonight. The wind is the big story for the rest of the state. High gusts are blowing in smoke from those wildfires burning in the Gila. Jim in Elephant Butte sent in a photo of smoke hovering over that area. It has even drifted as far as West Texas. Here in the metro area, the National Weather Service says high winds could make visibility low and driving difficult. And the wind won't let up for quite a while. Mark Ross.